Welcome back. Even after six days, there is no arrest of accused from Parav family in Vedashri suicide case. Anticipatory bail plea of Vedashri's husband Yogesh Parav, her mother-in-law and father-in-law will come up for hearing before the district and sessions court on Monday. Meanwhile, locals from Masordeh have threatened to take morcha to Yogesh Parav's residence in Mainkure if accused Parav family members are not arrested within the next four days. Just like Vedashri's father had anticipated, Vedashri's husband along with his parents have moved for anticipatory bail. Police have failed to arrest Vedashri's husband and her in-laws till now. Six days have passed without an arrest. The anticipatory bail plea filed by Vedashri's in-laws and husband will come up for hearing before the Margaon District Sessions Court on Monday. Meanwhile, Shanta Durga Kala and Nagrik Manch from Masorda have threatened Walpai police for no arrest till date. They have threatened to take Morcha on to Main Kure at Parav family's native house if there are no arrests in next four days. <laughs> Reporter Savio Dias with Dinesh Karpe for Prudent. This time, Green Goa Foundation chose Rivon Village in Kepe, which is facing controversy over HIV positive students. The trust had organized a day full of excitement and fun for the orphan children, including HIV positive ones. Foundation says this is their initiative to make the illiterate parents aware about misconceptions about HIV. targeted by illiterate parents who doesn't have knowledge of what is HIV infected and there are some Supreme Court guidelines and it's also a violation of children at eight. But to my personal insult I took a good guy. Any power misuse on ground management, ground county education department has not supported them at all. That is my comment made it very clear. Factual position kona hapa na either newspaper, media, sogli cover up kutai. But the children have been removed by force with the management, pressure kona. But things have been shown in a different way. The children are already shifted. But on the paper it is shown that the children are not being shifted. It is already shifted. We do pressure. And in case we will see, in case if the matter has to be taken now before the Supreme Court, I will immediately move in the Supreme Court. Mastermind behind gold smuggling, Javid Sheikh surrendered before the Chief Judicial Magistrate in Margao on Saturday. Custom officials have taken him under remand for three days. Currently, the custom officials are interrogating Javid. Earlier this month, customs had busted a smuggling operation at Daboni Airport. Gold valued around 6 crore rupees was seized from passengers travelling in a flight from Qatar to Goa. Involvement of Air India cargo loader is suspected in the operation. It may be recalled that custom officials had busted a smuggling operation recently at Davoli Airport. Three passengers of Karnataka were arrested with gold worth 6 crore rupees. The passengers had travelled from Qatar to Goa in Qatar Airways flight. The details of the case, only I can say that we are taking him for the investigation at airport. Custom officials suspected Sheikh's role in the smuggling operation. They raided Javed Sheikh's house in Dabali, seized cash of foreign currency amounting to 20 lakhs. However, customs could not find Javed at his residence. After fortnight long search, Javed on Saturday surrendered before the Chief Judicial Magistrate in Margao. Earlier, custom officials had arrested a cargo loader of Air India, suspecting his involvement in the smuggling operation. The Bureau Inputs reporter Dishan Parab for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 